Good day, folks. My last video generated a bit of interest in my uh, 5C collet closer, so I thought I'd have a look at uh, putting something together which explained in a bit more detail how it works. It's a bit different because the Hercus PC200 I use only has a 27 bore through the spindle, so it won't use a normal collet closer. If we have a look at this, you can see that it won't even go into the Morse taper, let alone the parallel part of the bore. So I use an adapter to get from the small diameter to the outside diameter of the collet. Now I could have done this as well by using a bar that was threaded for the inside thread on the collet. And that probably that might have been better actually because this is a real pain. It can be a real pain to know that you've got the right amount of thread in both bits. And of course you've got to do it with that inside that nose piece. So if we have a look at a drawing for my contraption. Starting at the right hand end we've got the 5C collet. A couple of grub screws that go into the slot in the collet to stop it turning. Then there's the adapter. Um, then you can see the uh, draw tube. Then up the left hand end we have a spacer that goes between the contraption and the spindle. And the uh, one part's held still, the other is operated with the lever and it just pulls the collet in but unfortunately it doesn't push it out. So although I get good grip, um, I usually have to bang it on the end of the drawbar to actually make it come apart. Here's the thread that does the operation of the drawbar. Uh, the big part on the right is the spacer that goes between the two parts and the spindle. So that's the bearings in there as well. You can see the action doesn't provide a lot of movement for the drawbar, but it does pull it tight and it's adjustable. There we're having a look at the other end. That's the fixed leg you can see on the left there and the handle on the right. And I've actually got a... Uh, uh, plastic bung that I put up that lock nut on the end to make it easier to give the thing a bang without hurting my hand too much. Now here's an alternative just using a hand wheel. It's the same design as mine but using a draw tube that goes inside the collet rather than outside and up the left hand side if you don't need a lot of repetition if you're not doing a lot of repetition type work you could get away with a hand wheel just tighten that up um, you may need a hole somewhere in your nose piece just to put a uh, bar in to hold everything tight but that should work too. Now someone who was inquiring about my setup actually has a 38 diameter bore through his lathe. He should easily be able to use something like this adapter which I believe someone bought from Grizzly in the US and it just goes 5 Morse taper to a 5C collet. That would greatly simplify your setup um, and there's no need to be messing around with something like mine so there you go that's a look at my setup and a couple of ideas thank you for watching